So, what's become of the Amber? Sorry, nothing yet. But my little helper is creating quite the commotion. Everything will work out just fine. As long as you can keep your dog under control. He's a good boy. Predictable. Fine. Keep your mutt. But don't come crying to me if you get bit. Society teaches this is Tech out here back with more Resident Evil 4 remake. And real quick, we're gonna be selling some shit. We're gonna be selling some shit. <laughs> but we're also, if I'm not mistaken, I think this is the point where I get the black tail. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I'm about to get the black tail. And if I am, this is gonna be perfect. Okay, so. I really don't got a lot to say at the beginning of the video until we get yes sir yes sir let's go <laughs> we finally got it we got the goat we got the goat <laughs> uh, I know I'm being I, I know I'm over exaggerating a little bit but this is literally my favorite gun in the game do not at me <laughs> we got it boy we got it <laughs> oh I'm happy Oh, I am happy. Let's yes. get some upgrades for this bitch. Let's get yes. some upgrades as many as we can for this bitch. Come on, let's go. Let's celebrate. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. <laughs> oh, I'm happy, man. Uh, I'll, okay, I, I thought I was going to upgrade the sniper, but apparently Passive wasn't going to do that. It would have been smart to. But oh well. Do you much good in the grave? <sighs> Okay. Anything else I can sell real quick? From the looks of it, no. Yeah. What you see is what I've got. Well, we got the black tail, and I am ecstatic about it. I'm happy. I'm excited. This is gonna be fun. We can use the black tail now. The best gun in the goddamn game, man. And I will die on that hill. It is the best goddamn gun in this game. Okay, there we go. Got shit organized. What am I still doing here? Baspy, what are you still doing? Oh. I guess we did eat that stuff, so yeah, it's whatever. Come back. At any time. Nice, nice, nice. I don't really want to save yet, because we just started the chapter. So. Yeah. Oh, uh, we don't want to go because I think, uh... Huh. I guess past me is kind of chicken around for anything I missed. And apparently I missed some resources in this room, so let's go get them. Should be in the top corner, which should be some handgun ammo. Yep. And in the bottom corner, there should be uh, resources. Okay, I'm not quite standing in it. Right here. Yep. There we go. <clears throat> now we can move on.
So this is the chapter where stuff starts getting good. Like that I've been hyping up. I've been like, there's four banger chapters. They're not even just four. There's like five banger chapters in a row. There's this chapter 11, chapter 12, chapter 13, and chapter 14, which are all bangers. So this is where it gets good. This is where it gets real good. What's this? Oh, I remember what that was. Okay, you remember uh, last chapter, or last video, and last chapter, I would be right ta saying both, where there was that golden knight that uh, came to life while playing as, while we were playing as Ashley, or while I was playing as Ashley, and I said something about, uh, yeah, we're not, we can't fight this guy yet, so we gotta go, or something like that. So I said something along the lines of hinting at the fact we gotta fight this guy now. This guy is probably one of the most fun uh, little side quests you could do for the merchant. I think this one and that uh, mini boss that we tackled back in chapter 5 are probably my favorite ones because I like the idea of optional mini bosses to do for the merchant. I think they're really cool. I wish the game had like one or two more of them. So it's a little sad that there's only two of those that you could do as far as I know at least. But still, it's whatever. They're still fun. I'm glad we have them. Okay, we gotta go down here first. Because the way we gotta get to it is, uh... Is, 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 is uh... Let's <clears throat> do this way. If I'm not mistaken. Let's go down the elevator. Elevator go up. Elevator go down. Elevator go up. Elevator go down. I, it just made me think of a Chris Calico song. There's also a Outcast song it made me think of, but I forgot how that one goes. No, wait, no, I do. Me and you, your mama and your cousin too. Rolling down the strip on those. Rolling up slaver Cadillac dolls. Okay. This guy's fun to fight, though. I will give him that. Oh, the, the, these guys are not. <laughs> I think it's a little unnecessary they had you fight two regular knights alongside them because the guy, they could have just made the guy enough of a challenge on his own. But it's whatever. Still a fun fight. There we go. There we go. We got them. Let's kill these guys because I want their loot. There we go. Hey. I got hit by the other guy, but I don't care. Okay, sir, 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 I'm gonna have to ask you to put down the- Sir, sir, we do not allow swords in here, sir. We do not allow swords in here. I would have to ask you kindly to put the sword down, sir. That's what you get when you don't put the sword down. I asked you kindly. You didn't do it. And now you pay for it. Dumb bitch. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> I had to make a Kendrick Lamar reference. Uh, you you know, saw this, like, uh, muddy trees. That's what it is. I just forgot how it goes. Like, it, it's like. Yeah, bitch. Yeah, bitch. Yeah, bitch. Yeah, bitch. It's like that. Uh, I forget what the lyrics are, though, because I haven't heard the song in a while, but it's a good song. Muddy trees by Kendrick Lamar is a good. 
I'm just a big Kendrick Lamar fan. I I think I've mentioned I may I may have mentioned Kendrick Lamar before. I may never have, but if you want to know like the top five artists I mainly listen to, it's Kendrick Lamar, T Pain, uh, Mayday, Chris Calico, and uh, as of lately, I've been listening to a lot of Odd Squad Family and the songs that the individual artists of that group make. Because Odd Squad Family is pretty heat, I ain't gonna lie. They're pretty good. There's actually a really good song by uh, Snowman of uh, Odd Squad Family. Uh, that's like, baby, we out ya. Da 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 da. I forgot the lyrics to that too because I haven't heard it in a minute either, but it's a really good song. And it was stuck in my head earlier this year for a good minute. Only reason I don't know the lyrics now is because I had, like, as soon as it stopped being stuck in my head, I didn't really listen to it much anymore because it didn't really come to mind. But it's a good song nonetheless. Definitely recommend. I don't know what the song is called and I can't check it because my Wi Fi is being a bish right now. A complete bish right now. Okay. So we're coming in here for a couple of reasons. For a couple of reasons. One, more loot from these guys. Is always fun. Kick. I love doing that. I love kicking their helmet off. It's so much fun. I know I said it like these guys that much as enemies, but the one part about them I do like is kicking their helmet off. And I do like that they're not like too hard, because if they were too hard, they would be like a pain in the ass because of how annoying they are already. They're kind of easy, which kind of balances out the them being annoying, but for the most part. I'm crouching here because I don't know. Yeah, see, there's still a knight roaming here. And I was trying to uh, try to stealth attack him. It doesn't work out though, as you just saw. I still don't know how to stealth attack these guys. I don't think you can, honestly. I'm just sad. It'd be fun to stealth attack one of these dudes. <clears throat> so up here. We should have an idol on us that I can place it here. Somewhere up here and get a gun. Where's the spot? Right here, I think. Yep, right here. We put the cube in. We need to rotate it. To where it's going to uh, match in the thing. There we go. That'll flip upward. And there we go. Yes, sir. And we're selling this gun. That's what we're doing. We're selling this gun. Uh, this is actually a good strat if you're not someone who wants an assault rifle. I didn't want an assault rifle because I wanted to use all my rifle ammo for my... Uh, for my sniper and I I was willing to be patient to get a hey, get the SMG for a spray weapon later yeah we can't we can't open that but I was willing to be patient until I get the SMG later and on new game plus you got the SMG off the bat so it's it's you know the assault rifle is just something that I sold just to get some extra to get some extra cash, you know. It's something I'm going to sell anyway. When we get back to the merchant. It's definitely a strat I recommend. <clears throat> if, you, if you're like me and you don't really want the assault rifle. It's definitely a strat I recommend. Because I think, uh, I think the money you get from it is more useful than, um, than the gun itself. Especially because the sniper exists, and you're going to want to save ammo for that. On top of the fact we're going to be getting an SMG later. It just seemed like a good idea to just sell this gun for money instead. Because it does go, like, you can get it for a good bit of money. I actually don't know how you open these chests. I really don't. I know that those, uh, 
those weird uh, box things with treasures in them is opened by the church key. But I have no idea how to open those chests. So yeah. <clears throat> Right now, I'm just trying to figure my way out. I think there's a ladder over here, so that's why I'm going this way. Yep, it looks like there's one on the map. Okay. Let's sell up this gun. And we, oh yeah, we got that done too. Could we kill the gold knight? <laughs> so yeah, sorry. The first half of this video was just me backtracking, so I do apologize for like that waste of time. I cut out. It's funny too, because I cut out the backtracking done in chapter nine, but it cut out this backtracking. This backtracking, to be fair, this backtracking was more important. The backtracking chapter nine just saw me kill like five enemies in a room we were previously in and get one treasure so it really didn't matter um but the bat tracking here was more important because we took out the golden knight we got the assault rifle that uh, i'm gonna be selling so it was a little more like it was a little more important you know Here I'm like looking at the stats to see if I'd rather keep the sniper or the assault rifle. The sniper is just more useful, so yeah, I already said what the end result's gonna be. Ruby's all rubbish. It makes no I'm sorry, assault rifle, right. but you're going bye bye. Well <laughs> so long, farewell, Avida, say goodbye. <laughs> This is, I don't know what that originally comes from, but I'm personally referencing Family Guy. I don't know what the song originally comes from. Or what it's a reference to. So. I'm just referencing Family Guy. Hmm. I it. Do I want the case upgrade? Or do I want the rock? Yeah, we're going to be facing something in this chapter. So I'm going to get the rocket launcher. I think it's a smart move. Uh, but if you see the new outro that I got, um, it was in the last video, and it's in this video too. You already know where this is going because I chose to use it as my, my new outro clip. But you already know where this rocket launcher is going. basically a means of avoiding a boss fight that probably would have been really fun not gonna lie because when I look at like when when I was like look after fighting the fight or I mean, I'm gonna be honest I googled how to fight the fight because I originally was gonna take it on like head-on but then I decided hey I got the money for a rocket launcher let's just bypass this guy and we could, like, experience the actual fight later. And I kind of regret that a little bit. This is not the boss I should have used the rocket launcher on. Uh, that boss is definitely, um... <laughs> that boss is probably either Mendez or Sadler, because they're a little disappointing. If you want to know why I'm walking slow through this room, it's because I know it's coming. I know it's, yep, these guys, yep, 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 I knew these guys are coming. Um, a version of these guys actually exist in, uh, Revelations 2. Uh, I mentioned earlier how, like, the, those black-furred wolf enemies from earlier, um, appear in, a version of them appear in Revelations. Well, these insect guys appear in Revelations 2. Uh, the way you defeat them, for the most part, honestly, is... Using the Talia to spot them and then use Barry to kill them, but there is one or two of them in Claire's campaign in Rev 2 that you have to just listen for or notice like the 
the weird can't like the weird blurry camouflage effect that they give in the spot they're coming from which the effect is a little easy to miss so i usually just list out for the sound when i deal with the one or two ones that are in claire's campaign i think i don't think they're the same enemies though i think they're just a version of them it honestly because they act a little different if you want to if you want to get know what i'm getting at like they're they stay invisible longer they like uh they approach you while invisible instead of like uncloaking when they attack i haven't got to them on hardcore mode yet but on both standard and assisted they kind of just stay cloaked when they attack or no the well, they uncloak when they attack i mean i don't know what they do on hard mode on hardcore mode but i'm going to be finding out once i get there My hand is pretty much better at this point, so I might actually continue my hardcore mode. Uh, I wouldn't say today because my hand's just now gotten better and I don't want to, like, risk it. I don't want to play, like, any game that's too strenuous. And if I'm being honest, uh, RE4 Remake is a bit strenuous on my hands because, uh, you know, I gotta use those gamer skills for the game. But I could play something easy, like Sonic Frontiers, something easy on the hands like that, or like, uh... Definitely not Apex Legends. But I can play my or I can play Minecraft, or, you know, Stardew, or Warframe. They're all easier on the hands. <laughs> and you want to know what I'm getting at? Basically, um... It's basically how often you have to hit the trigger buttons and, like... You just how often you gotta use certain buttons on the controller for RE4 rebake uh, as opposed to the other ones because yeah you use the trigger buttons in Warframe 2 and Minecraft but they're not like they're not as annoying there and on top of that it's not just the trigger buttons you know I have to actually fun fact I want to point this out I've been using circle for sprint on this game for the moment I got it the reason I did that how, uh, is actually a strat to help avoid hand pain because I think uh, because something I've been doing to like help to help avoid like hurting my hand because uh, I know what hurts my hand and it's not gaming that causes the pain but like it's mainly to make it to where I could like get play these games earlier like say if I do go through hand pain I don't have to wait for them to fully heal I can just wait until it's, I think it's safe enough to play over. Because I did the strat with RE2 Rebake last time I had like a head flare up. And uh, what I did was I switched the controls to have Sprint as the circle button on play. Because I play on PS5. I had Sprint as the circle button, right? And it made the game so much easier on my head that was still healing. And I kept that. For RE4 Rebake, because after playing RE2 with the sprint button on circle, it just felt natural. Like, it f I actually like it better than using, like, L3 as the sprint, and I might even, like, I might even tr uh, tweak my Apex Legends uh, controls and Warframe controls to go with that, too. I don't know about Warframe, because Warframe, Warframe is a little tough, because the melee button to circle with Warframe. And I don't know how to handle that there. I think it'd be easier just to keep using the regular sprint button there. But for Apex Legends, I think it's definitely doable if I wanted to. I don't know. Maybe it's just a Resident Evil thing. Um, I'm going to see if uh, Revelations has that option too um, when I get to playing it. I'm going to see if it has the option to uh, set circles to sprint. Because I really love using circle as sprint. It feels really comfortable. <laughs> feels really comfortable to me. There's a treasure I missed right here. It's li literally right there. Right there. I just saw it. You probably just saw it if you got a good enough eye to spot, spot, spot it for a millisecond. But it's literally a hanging bell. Like ha hanging silver bell that we just have to shoot. I mean, to be fair, past me was attacked by enemies uh, while I was trying to check for it. So maybe that's why like I missed it, but... It's literally so obvious. I don't know why past me hasn't broken it yet. Or shot it yet, you know? Okay. 
Inventory's looking a little cluttered, but I think we can get through the chapter with it like this. It's literally right there, fam! We literally see the bottom of the bell. Here's me thinking the, like it's a bell hanging from up there or something. Oh my god. <laughs> pass me, I'm gonna fight you. I'm gonna fight you, pass me, if you do not see it. Oh my god, it's so obvious. <laughs> oh my god. How am I missing this treasure? This is like one of the easiest ones to spot in the game. Come on, fam, it's just hanging. It's just hanging. Go through the little tunnel again. Okay, I think past me gave up. Dude, it's so simple. It's right fucking there. <laughs> My god. You can tell past me was a noob at this. Well, to be fair, that was my first run of this game, so of course past me was a noob at this. But like, it's so annoying. Like, part the thing there's 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 pros and cons to me doing first runs of every new game I get for my let's play instead of doing the second run. The pros are that, you know, I'm more enthused to commentate over the game. I'm more enthused to edit the game, all that stuff. Like, I'm more excited about all of it than I would have been if it was my second run. Um, that's the main pro. But there's two little cons to it. One of them is, um, one of them is that I don't, is that I look like I'm worse at playing video games than I actually am because, uh, let's face it, and you, you can deny this all you want, but your first run's not going to be your best run. And it's never, never gonna be close to it. You're all, if you like record your first run of a game and look back at it, you're always going to be so judgmental of yourself because it was your first get time going through the game mostly blind. As I said before, I did look up how to defeat the Vertigo before I decided to just get a rocket launcher. Um, but, but, but besides that, I pretty much played this game mostly blind, aside from like some very vague memories of watching Jack Septicai play it when it first came out a few, couple months, well, a few months ago at this point. And those memories aren't even like fully accurate because I don't even remember where certain things happened for the most part. But yeah. Let's get this treasure. Because past me, can't even notice the other treasure. I've been in this room for like a good 12 minutes, man. Like, it's crazy. Well, there's a couple reasons for that, honestly. One reason is I was trying to kill all the invisible insects in this room so they couldn't ambush me randomly if I came back here. At least that's what I attempted to do. I think there is a couple uh, that I miss who attack me when I come back, but... Uh, for the most part, I did succeed in what I was trying to do. And this is when I noticed that one lever didn't open the door. We need to get the other lever, which is over on the right the right side of the room. Not right from where I'm coming from, but the right from the beginning. Here's past me going to double check if I pulled the lever. Which I did. Yeah, it's pulled. So yeah, there's another lever. We gotta get over there to get it. Okay. Down we go. I'm still miffed at Matt as I'm still miffed it past me for not seeing that treasure because it's so bloody obvious, man. Like, it, God, it's painful. <laughs> it's painful to see, like, my first... Like, <laughs> I'll be honest. A lot of my first runs of games that I've done in Ronan games, which are primarily Spyro 1, Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart, Sonic Frontiers, and this game. Those are the four games I've done pretty much almost blindly for my Let's Play. Um, this is the first one that's actually aggravated me enough with, like, new mistakes that my first, that I did on my first run. Like, seriously, because, uh, Frontiers didn't really give me that feeling. Frontiers was pretty, like, 
easy to figure out so my first run was still not that you know noob i didn't make that many noob mistakes on my first run of frontiers i didn't really make that many on my first run of ratchet clay rift apart either so those two games were you know fine with that uh spiral the dragon i kind of messed up a lot on platforming in that game because i wasn't used to how it platforming works in that game and i guess that's the only other like first run i've done in my ronan game series so far that um you know had some new mistakes that might aggravate current me but this is the first one where like the new mistakes actually like make me want to fight my past me <laughs> because missing that treasure my god missing that treasure is going to stick with me like current me is not going to let that go for like a day or two at least like i'm gonna be like sitting here like i really did that didn't i i really just overlooked that treasure like i'm gonna be mad i'm gonna be seriously pissed at myself for like a day or two over that shit like you have no idea okay let's pull this there we go now it's opening Okay, there's a little side room over here, too, that's got some loot in it, so I need to go check that out. Ew, ooh, do, 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 do. There's a guy in here, too. I got the black tail just in time, too, because it's pretty useful against these guys. Okay, that was the only thing in there. Damn. I hope there was more. Oh well. Let's go down and let's go ahead. I like how a moment ago I'm just I was like I'm gonna be pat pissed it past me for like a day a whole day or two over that, and then I like just calmly changed the subject. Um, I, that actually is gonna be true. I am gonna be thinking about that for like a day or two, but. Um, it's just not going to be consistent. I want to move on and think about other things currently because, you know, I don't want to just be stuck on that the whole video. But it is something that's going to be coming back in my mind over and over again for a couple of days. And I'm just going to be like, what the fuck? Okay. Oh, I know what I gotta do. Yeah, I gotta come over here. There we go. Why did I break... Okay, that's gonna bug me too. Why did I break that vase right there? I walked past it three times. I did not break it. Like, holy shit. But we're gonna be ending off the video here, so... Bye!